Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am excited to be sharing with you some brand new BK Beauty. I recently purchased a few of the items from their newest launch, which was all about the lips. Today, we're gonna to be doing a try on using the new Luxe lipsticks and the Everlast lip liner. I did actually purchase these items. If you know, I recently did become a BK Beauty affiliate, but I did purchase these myself. I bought one lip liner and two of the lipsticks. I'm very excited to try these out with you. I have actually worn one of these, so I do have a pretty good feel of how this lasts throughout the day, but we are gonna get right into these lip swatches. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist and here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real. Real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to click subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. But let's go ahead and dive into these lip goodies. All right, it is no secret that I love BK Beauty brushes. I am pretty obsessed with just about every BK Beauty brush I've gotten. I love the eye brushes. I have a couple face brushes that I cannot live without. I recently did a whole in-depth review on the new BK Beauty and Angie Hot and Flashy set. So then when I saw these lipsticks launching, I was super pumped, especially because one of these shades I thought when Lisa J, the owner of BK Beauty, was trying these on, I was like, oh, I think one of these might be a good match for a product that I can't get anymore. I have a backup, but I can't get it anymore, so we're gonna check that out as well. So let's get into the details of these lip items. So first we have the Lux lipstick. Here is the case that it will come in, or the package, I guess is what it's called, the box. The box. I'm trying to make it sound way more fancy than it is. The box. And then you have the lipstick itself right here. So I really do like this component. It's almost like like a peachy tone. And then you have the rose gold of the bullet, which of course you know that I love. Now I will say that this is definitely in that true rose gold moment. You know, I'm picky about my rose golds. Like sometimes they're too gold, sometimes they're too pink. This really is a beautiful package. And of course, they are magnetic. This lipstick is made with apricot oil to help nourish the lips. It's said to be more of like a demi-matte finish and they come in five shades. Now let's move into the lip liners. The Essential Lip Liners retail for $12. They come in four shades and these are also vegan and cruelty-free and they're made with shea butter for really smooth application. So this is gonna be what we're diving into. I do have one shade of the lip liner. This is Sweet Pea. I will go ahead and swatch this here for you. Now, Sweet Pea is listed as a rosy neutral pink, and I would say that that is exactly what this is. Now, this shade is not like pink with a capital P. It is definitely that like your lips, but maybe flushier shade. And this is the design that Lisa put into this tip. You can see that it's like wider and flatter and so this is really to be able to very easily if you want to fill in your whole lip you're going to be able to do that this is also so that you get a little bit more of a thick lip line if you do want to blend and blur and to be able to like get a dimensional look out of your lip liners now i will say that this formula is very soft like it really does feel quite creamy as you can see here you know it's i would say like not super opaque now as you can see here, as I've been spreading this out, these, these are super, super creamy and comfortable on the lips, but I do find that they're not going to be like the set it and forget it lip liners. This is going to be something that if you don't want something that tugs and pulls, something that might be a little drying on your lip, you might really enjoy this, but just know that there is gonna be some movement involved in this. And that's just from my personal experience. These aren't like super crazy long wear, but they are super comfortable. I also, I have to be honest, I love a good twist up pencil. This this is gonna be the thing that I grab on the day that I'm like maybe grabbing for one that's not sharpened and I'm too lazy to sharpen it and I know that this I will always just be able to pull out, crank a little up and be able to use. All right, so I re-swatched that shade out on my hand just so we can compare it to the two lipstick shades that I got. So I got the shade Inner Beauty, which is the one that I thought might, might be a dupe for a shade that I have. I do think now looking at it, they're, they're not, they're not 100% passable, but we'll see. I'm gonna pull it out in just a second here. This is a very beautiful, like, everyday shade. And I actually will say that I feel like all of the shades that Lisa chose are very everyday. And I know that some people were like, oh, they're, you know, 
a little too similar for me. There's not a lot of range, but I really feel like, especially for a small brand and a first launch, you know, she did a good job picking different undertones, something that's going to be flattering for everyone. I also here have the shade Passion, which is the deepest shade that Lisa created. That's this one here. This is sort of like a beginner's step towards red. I would not call this red at all. I would actually call this like a mauvey berry with just like a, a boop of red. So if you find that you've always like wanted to step your toes towards red lipsticks, but you find that it's just a little overwhelming, this would be a beautiful one to try out. And that's again, what Lisa said. Like, I think that if you are a bit color shy, but you're looking to maybe like consider wearing deeper, more bold tones, then Passion is gonna be really nice. I still think for me that this is like a very, wearable shade, but it also really depends on your skin tone, on your natural lip color. I feel like when you have more pigmented lips, you're naturally going to be okay wearing more pigment on your lips. And I actually, I do have fairly pigmented lips. They might be dulled down just a little bit because I actually just got done filming another video with a different lipstick on. So when I wiped it off, I just wanted to put just the tiniest bit of foundation on just so that that color wasn't shining through. Now I'm gonna go grab that lipstick that I was saying that I thought that Inner Beauty might be a dupe for. Okay, so if you are not new to my channel, you might have heard me talk about Ex-Girlfriend from Urban Decay. Now, this shade is no longer available. Uh, this is this is one from the Gwen Stefani launch, but they did have it in the regular line as well. And I thought that they might be close, but uh, man, it's not quite. Actually, it's kind of funny because I feel like if I really sheer out passion, that's almost like a little bit closer in color. I just made a hot mess on my hand here, but this is ex-girlfriend and this is inner beauty and then this is passion. And then I just like smeared some down. I'm a hot mess situation over here already and we are just getting going. Now I will say that both of these lipsticks feel very creamy. I do think that the, uh, the BK Beauty ones are a bit more pigmented though than like this ex-girlfriend one. So it's not quite a dead ringer. I'm not necessarily mad here. I, I did not, I did not pick up all of the lipstick shades. I was very tempted because they had the bundle where you save some money. I'll share that at the end of this video. I just ordered those Lisa Eldridge lipsticks and then I did another order, which is what I just took off my face, which will be coming in a <laughs> future video here because that's the one that I just filmed. But uh, I was like, you gotta cool it on the lipstick. So I just wanted to get two shades that I knew that I would really enjoy. And I think that these are gonna be good ones. So what I think I'm gonna do is just line my lips first with Sweet Pea, just a little bit, and then we will go ahead and actually put both shades over the top of this lip liner. So let's go ahead and put a little bit of Sweet Pea on. I'll show you what that looks like and then we'll move into the lipsticks. All right, so here we have Sweet Pea just on the very outer edges of my lips. Now I do have to say my lips right now are quite dry. So I am so sorry for that. I've been trying to nurse them back to health, but the change of seasons always just kills me. So I do really appreciate that these are creamy and comfortable on the lips. I do find though that this is gonna be a pencil that I am not going to go too crazy with the overlining with this one. Not that I really normally do that anyway, but I usually fill out my Cupid's bow just a bit more just cause I like that look of like a more enhanced Cupid's bow. But I don't think I would do that with this because I do find that these are so creamy that it is gonna move a little bit on the lips. So this is one that it would just be like staying within my true line and just looking for a bit more definition. So this is really so comfortable. like you could actually just like fill this in your lips and it would really be like a lipstick, like truly. So I think that, you know, this is nice to have as like a in your purse, need a little touch up kind of situation. This is also a really good color. I think it's like, again, it's very close to my lips, just a little bit more pigmented. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the shade Inner Beauty. Now, BK Beauty describes this as a neutral medium pink. I think again, that that's really true. I would say that it still leans a pinch on the cooler, on the mauvier side of pink though. But I think that, you know, that is really easy to change with the lip liner that you use. Like I do think that using this lip liner, like you can see here, this Sweet Pea shade is warmer than the Inner Beauty lipstick, so. Now this is the shade you can see here, like I just did it on one half, obviously not perfectly, but on one half. This is just like my lips, but like more hydrated. It has a little bit more tone to it.
These are incredibly creamy. Like they're so creamy that I feel like you wanna be careful not to like <laughs> get too much on because they're so creamy in the bullet. Like they, they feel almost like a lip gloss lipstick hybrid. They aren't and they aren't that shiny at all but that like really like whoo, creamy feel is there. And I do find after these are on the lips, because right now I feel like this looks like your standard cream lipstick, it does dry down a little bit into like more of that like, I don't even wanna say demi matte. I don't feel like these get like crazy matte, but what I do wanna do is let this sit just for a couple minutes so that you guys can see, because I mean, I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if I'm crazy, but I do feel like the sheen of this like calms down just a little bit, but it really allows for that like, super nice glide on the lips. And you can see that I have liney lips. I'm 40. I've always had liney lips though, but it's it's definitely not getting any better. But like, it's just enough cream to like make me feel naturally enhanced, but not like overly juicy, glossy pout. Does that make sense? I think the finish on these is super pretty. Now, if you're curious about these Lisa lipsticks compared to these Lisa lipsticks, I am just, um, just for like finish wise. So this is Rose Official. This is one of the luxuriously lucent lipsticks. And then this is Blush Lightly, which is a velvet matte. So let's see, I'm running out of room here. Okay, so if you can see here, the Rose Official, I'm hoping that you can see that, but it's more sheer again. And uh, I would say it's still a bit more glossy, but like this formula is thicker and not in like an uncomfortable way, but in a, in a thicker, more cushiony way. Now this is blush lightly. Uh, and that is like matte, <laughs> like there is nothing with any gloss to this. It is matte. It is comfortable and it's beautiful, but it is matte matte. Whereas this is just like it's like the girl next door lipstick. That's that's what I'm gonna say. And I really do think that that's sort of like the BK Beauty vibe. Like that is sort of the aesthetic of the brand. And this just feels super comfortable on the lips. Now, not that like the luxuriously lucent doesn't, but it is, it is a little bit more thin. So this I feel like is gonna protect your lips a little more. It's gonna fill in lines a little bit more too. So I really do like this. Can you tell? Can you tell now that I've been like chatting, I feel like the gloss has like gone down just a little bit. Now these are obviously not transfer proof, nor is the lip liner. So you're gonna be able to get a bit of transfer. So this is going to wear like your average bullet lipstick that is more of that like creamy finish where you get a few hours out of it. But if you eat or drink, it's obviously gonna come off on a cup. It'll come off on a napkin. And I'm fine with that because if it keeps my lips looking healthy, I am fine with a touch up. And especially when you've got a magnetic closure like BK Beauty did, because I can just chuck this in my purse and I don't have to worry about this thing rolling off, getting lint, getting God knows what that's in my purse all over my lipstick. So I'm really, I'm really happy about the magnetic closure on these. This is so nice. Like they did a good job with this. So now I'm going to wipe this one off and we will go ahead and put passion on. I'm really excited because I haven't tried that one on yet. I wanted to wait. I wanted to have one that we could experience together. I just took whatever was left on my BK 101 because that is actually the foundation brush that I used. And I just kind of like dabbed that to sort of like get a neutral canvas again. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put passion on and then we can add sweet pea to define afterwards. I know that some people do like to put on their lip liner after their lipstick. So let me find this one. I will say, um, I love the packaging of these. Like I love the little BK emblem on the top, but I wish that maybe the stickers on the bottom were the color of the lipstick because first of all, the writing is pretty small and it, it, they're the same. So it's like, I don't know which one's which. I have to like get really close and read. So that would be one thing that I would love to see the brand do is like have like color coded stickers on it. Okay, so here you can see on half of my lip. Again, this is just like, it's like my lips, like I feel like all of these shades are sort of like my lips, but. So I feel like these are my lips, but like much rosier. By the way, this is considered a deep pink on the website. So this is definitely, like I said, like much more of that like pinky berry tone. And I feel like, <sighs> boy, these have the faintest, faintest scent to them. 
and there's something about it that makes me think of nuts like walnuts or pecans or something i'm sure it's probably or like almonds but not like when i think of like almond scented things i think of like amaretto not like that this is more like almonds pecans very very lightly nutty so i'm going to add sweet pea over the top of this now i definitely want to like define this a little bit more okay feeling pretty good about that i will say with these I 100% recommend lining first and then putting the lipstick over the top just because this lipstick is so slippery. Like I actually found that it was a little bit hard. I almost like went out of the lines a couple times just because you've got a good amount of glide between the glide of this and the glide of the lipstick. But all right, I really like this color. I feel like, again, this is sort of like understated color. Like it's color, but it's understated. Does that make sense? It's not like nude but it's not like in your face. I really like this one. And I I mostly got this one because I wanted to pick up two colors, but I knew that I wanted to get Inner Beauty because I thought it was gonna be close to the other one, which it's not, which is fine. But this one, I think I actually like even more. There's something about the warmth of this. It really just enlivens the face a little bit, but it's not too bold. If you are looking to tiptoe into color, I would highly recommend Passion. I think that this could look good on any skin tone uh, on the BK Beauty website. I love that they had a darker skin model so that you could see these colors. And it really, again, depends on the lip liner that you pair it with because they did have a couple deeper lip liners. Feels super comfy, is definitely going to slip off of my lips after a while. And that is something that I am okay with. Like, I feel like if you like a super creamy, comfortable lipstick, you know that you're gonna get three to four hours of wear time out of it. And if you're eating or drinking, you have to be careful that it doesn't go everywhere. I really like this a lot. Now, if you like a really creamy, smooth lip liner, you will probably really enjoy these. I think that they are a great price for $12. That is really excellent but these aren't going to be super long lasting. Like I really feel like these have a lot of slide and movement. So if you are someone where you are looking for that lip liner that is gonna stay put all day, this isn't gonna be it. What I think that this is really nice for is when you're just looking for a very natural look, something that's quick and easy to put on. And I would really recommend sticking to the lighter shades of these. Again, there are four lip colors. I would say that Sweet Pea is the lightest of them. You also have Warm Spice, which is a much like warmer, nuttier shade. Then you have Pink Lady, which is like a more saturated pink. And then there's also Alter Ego, which is the deepest shade. So. I will be honest, this is a formula where I don't think I would ever use a shade like Alter Ego because that deep color, I have a feeling, would like kind of blur out just a little bit. And I don't mean like bleed out into lines, but it's just gonna move. It's gonna move a little bit on the lips. So I would say like, if you really just like a very natural look, if you want something that is not gonna be drying and is honestly probably gonna make your lips feel better, these lip liners are really nice. Now, when it comes to the lipsticks, I, I actually fell more in love with these than I thought that I was going to. They are super comfortable. And again, this passion shade I think is so pretty, so wearable. I think that some people might be afraid to pick up a color like this, but I, I really, I mean, truly, I love this passion shade. I think that if you are looking for something that has a bit of color, this is going to be great. I am, I am now kind of wishing that I picked up kindness. It says on the site that it's a peachy nude, and I don't think that it's going to be like super nude because I think that's acceptance. That's the like beige nude pink. I think this is going to be like a warmer shade, but you know, I've talked about this before, like with warmer, warmer nudes, I feel like sometimes they really emphasize lip texture, like, cause they almost have like a white base. I'm not sure. I was a little worried about that. So I just wanted to try these two at first and see. So that being said, when it comes down to the bundle deals, you can get a full set of the Luxe lipsticks for $90. That is uh, down from $110. So you're almost getting one of these lipsticks for free. However, I do think that these shades are fairly similar enough that, that I don't think that someone would need all of them. I really think like 
if you have lip liners that you like, just changing out the lip liner a little bit could make these colors go several different ways. So what I would actually recommend is maybe picking up one or two, trying out the formula, and then seeing what you think. I, I personally don't think that buying the full bundle is necessary. And I would say the same with the pencil bundle. That one is 40 down from 48. So you're not quite getting a full pencil out of this. And in all honesty, I, again, just don't think that that deepest pencil would be something that I would wear just because they aren't as like budge proof. So I hope that that helps you. So again, I would say pick up one or two, see what you think. The lipsticks for me are definitely the winner out of the two of these. And I have to say, I obviously just recently tried the Lisa Eldridge lip liners and those I'm obsessed with now. Now granted, those are $27. So that's quite a bit more, but for me, it's it's worth having the longevity of those. Granted, they're also sharpenable, sharpening required, whatever. <laughs> They require some sharpening and I don't love that. So I do like that these are like twist up pencils. So pros and cons there for you. It just really depends on what you enjoy. Now, again, I do have an affiliate code. So if you would like to save 10%, you can use the code keep beauty real. And if you would like to support the channel, I will also have my affiliate link listed down below. I will receive a small commission off of any purchase that you make, but obviously here I've given you my true and honest thoughts. So congratulations to Lisa and the BK team. I really do like these lips. Sticks. I think that they are very beautiful. I would love to see the shade range expand in the future and you'll have to let me know. Did you pick one of these up? Is there a shade that you think you'd like to get? I would love to know. I hope that you found this video helpful. That is going to be it for today. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to spend it with me and I'll see you really soon.